The Occidental burns incense to himself, and his own countenance is veiled from him, in the smoke. But how do we strike men of another colour? What do China and India think of us? What feelings do we arouse in the black man? And what is the opinion of all those whom we deprive of their lands and exterminate with rum and venereal disease? I have a Red Indian friend who is the governor of a pueblo. When we were once speaking confidentially about the white man, he said to me, We don't understand the whites. They are always wanting something, always restless, always looking for something. What is it? We don't know. We can't understand them. They have such sharp noses, such thin, cruel lips, such lines in their faces. We think they are all crazy. My friend had recognised, without being able to name it, the Aryan bird of prey with his insatiable lust to lord it in every land, even those that concerned him not at all. And he had also noted that megalomania of ours which leads us to suppose, among other things, that Christianity is the only truth, and the white Christ the only Redeemer. After setting the whole East in turmoil with our science and technology, and exacting tribute from it, we send our missionaries even to China. The stamping out of polygamy by the African missions has given rise to prostitution on such a scale that in Uganda alone £20,000 sterling is spent yearly on preventatives of venereal infection, not to speak of the moral consequences which have been of the worst.